All right. Long time coming. Yes, sir. Ready to go. This has been a journey. And you're fixing a journey back to Louisiana. Yep. A 34. You came to us and you basically wanted a 34. This is Brad. And who is this over here? Marshall. Marshall Head. Marshall's with you. And Brad is, uh, you know, you scared him pretty bad when you came back last time and test drove it. Hmm. <laughs> He's, he said you were a little crazy on the bypass. Well, I, I was afraid of it, really, uh, with the brakes and the clutch. I said, you think I never drove a manual transmission before. But, uh, well, anyway, we got that figure. Yeah. I had a couple things on your last drive, and we put some more miles on it. So we built this car based on two things. You remember the two things that you told us to start with? Tires and wheels. You said, I got these tires and wheels. I want them. Come show us these tires and wheels. So we, we built the car around these tires and wheels and motor. a Hemi motor. Now we've done Hemis before. Manual transmission. And a manual transmission. So we've, we've got a Hemi, but this ain't your old Hemi. This is a, uh, a new Hemi, new old Hemi. A lot of computer stuff, a lot of, it don't have a throttle cable. It's got a throttle position sensor. The throttle position sensor has to talk to your gas pedal and your gas pedal has to be talking to the computer to talk. There's a lot of computer stuff in here that out of my wheelhouse. And the shifter, come check out the shifter in here. You remember where the shifter was on the original transmission? It sat way back behind the seat there. Oh, a couple of, couple of things, show the interior. And tell us some of tell us some of what you want to change on the interior. Well, I wanted an armrest. And, and that okay, so you wanted armrest. So we didn't do just an armrest. We put a, a charger in there, but you wanted it to go back. So Eddie got that all fixed. You got your parking brake here, and the shifter was actually right here. So luckily, we were able to find a kit that we could put the shifter on top of the transmission, moved it forward. Uh, Got your overhead console and a radio. This this was the original we, the original steering wheel we had on there was just a basic tilt column that we you know we would use. So you've got an I did it tilt and telescoping column in there. Check out the check out the roof in here. Can you see all this? So you and Eddie talked about the design on this these seats. I'm sure. Color wise. You didn't want hood size, you just wanted, uh, wanted the hood. We'll have to call Sean in on it. Sean, how do you open the hood? Do you know how to open the hood? No. Pay attention to Sean. Push the button. It's it's like me out with the cars, you know, you get on your car and you're like looking like an idiot out there. So you got your hood prop. So we, we made the hood. All that stuff is different than the Mac this is the Mac controller that. now. Those are the what original So we had multiple issues with the well first off making it work. So we got a hanging brake pedal and a hanging clutch pedal. And then we couldn't get the clutch to fully disengage. And we adjusted and we did and we fiddled and then we needed to get a, a different bore on the slave cylinder. And then on the brakes, we weren't getting good front brakes. I think the front brakes weren't working good when you were here last time. So we had to change out the bore on the, the master cylinder on that. We've been a lot of tweaking on this car. Um, So we've got, uh, we put some wrap on the headers. I mean, just fitting it in there was a challenge. Yeah, I think you said like three or some separate headers before you found a separate word. Got some headers that worked. So we wrapped them with some heat tape because they're so close to the body. So that should take care of that. Even, even your AC, the big compressor on the bottom of a Chrysler motor, well, there was no way that was going to fit in there. So we had to move and put the, uh, 
the General Motors pancake style in there, which meant rerouting and redoing all the belts and all that. So it's been an engineering challenge. And something else you wanted that we don't do. Rumble. And I will say that we don't do it ever again. We don't do a rumble seat. Because, I mean, there was no, you don't just buy hinges or what have you to make it work because we're the manufacturer. I guess the manufacturer is probably supposed to figure it out. But uh, actually, it came out really well. I really had no idea if, uh, if anybody would ever ride those. It looks cool, though. <laughs> I wanted the 34 with the rumble seat. That's, it. That's what you got. It looks pretty cool. And gas tanks, you've got not a gas tank. We multiple. Sean knows more about the gas tanks. So you could drive from here to California on one, one fill up probably. We've got a lot of gas tank underneath here. Two gas tanks that overflow into each other. So you got a backup. It's almost like a truck. So. You let him go to town and it'll be a half a dozen old ones that won't drive. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Get him. <laughs> it's a par it'll be a party. One guy at a car show said that that was his wife's favorite seat. She'd rather ride back there than in the car with him. So, well, is, there, is that the guys? The guys go in the front, and the girls in the back. Is that how it works? I don't know. So we got a rumble seat. Bumpers. We don't usually do bumpers, but we've done bumpers before. Oh, this. So you wanted a spare tire. Did you bring your spare? Yeah, it's in the, oh, back well, of the truck. We'll have to put that on to get a picture of it. Yeah. We just we, well, or, well, we'll we'll put it on before it's over. Paint. Well, you had a truck that color paint, right? Yeah. You're not going to do with this what you did with your truck, are you? Uh, <laughs> I hope not. But I tell you what, the deer. <laughs> no, the deer's not what I got the last time. But, uh, two different times I've had a deer just come running out of the woods and run right inside. Not the front. I didn't hit the deer. The deer hit me. Hmm. So what? you got a different color truck now. What color is your truck now? Oh, it's, is it the same yeah. color, pretty much? So, oh, here's two gas tanks. So. Fill them up separate. Yeah. Fill them up separate. And I guess they balance with each other, or how does that work? Sean well, knows more. Fill up the main one and more fuel. Have that one on. Flip the switch. Put it on the main. Fill it up on the fly. Okay, so probably get with Brad and show him all the. Yeah, we. Pretty much my part of the thing was whenever it kind of got stuck in an area, I'd look at it a little bit and go, "Oh, uh, why don't we try this or do that?" But there's been a lot of. It's a spirit car, but. It's a spirit car, Brad's way. Every time you came, you had new ideas and and different way to do it. So I think it can, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful car. Yeah, it came out really nice. <laughs> yep. Well, it's one thing to go to a car show and see something like that, but when you see it driving down the road, you know, you, you think of the car show, they probably just towed it here on the trailer and offload it. Right. In a car show, but but I, that was my dream all along as everyday driver. So that's what I heard. This can be your everyday driver, yeah. and you're going to start by driving it from Arkansas to Louisiana. Yeah, and you're you're kind of the escort. Escort. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to have your flashers on the whole way, trying to catch him. Going, he's up there somewhere. I don't know. I I tell you, I think maybe once or twice on the way home, I may. <laughs> A little bit, but I, because uh, I am curious, it is fiberglass, so same engine and similar. It's truck. faster than you'll ever want to go. Yeah, but it's. Uh, it, I oh that I'll guarantee. The faster than you'll ever want to go. Uh, the power it should have gas mileage, better gas mileage. Hoping for that. Well, so I just went. My son lives in Indiana now, so I rented a car, a Camry, to go out there, Indianapolis, and. uh Cost me forty dollars. Coming home, I'm like, well, this I got. He had an Escalade truck that he's. I'm mm -hmm. going to drive now, instead of the '58. I figured, oh, well, let me see. I'm halfway home, and I'm like, oh, I only used half a tank of gas. 
until I figured out how much it took to fill up a half a tank <laughs> of gas. So it'll seem like you're getting good gas mileage because you've got plenty of gas, but uh, I don't know. We, we, there's gas in it, right? Half a tank in one of them. So you're yeah, good to go. Fill it. Yeah. I've noticed it does not like to take it. Yeah. And, and you've only put fuel in one, side, one yeah, tank. Only so. one side has but, but both of them will probably be. Oh, slow. I'm sure yeah. both will fill exactly the same. Yeah. So that's why I say take it slow until you get that fuel for it. You yeah. Know? So there it is. Let's do a let's walk around, get a good pictures of it, because it's it's fixing to go home. We're gonna do a show in September here called the Spirit Friends and Family Reunion. So you're personally invited. Uh, the date is I think it's the second week of uh, Pushing September. On Pushing on the button. Yeah, and there's that same time. Like this, not the bar underneath okay. here. Oh, that was, I, I'm like, I'm holding the button going. It's like, this is like not working. So I don't feel too bad now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, that's actually pretty easy. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> hey, I'm proud it was gone and out me. <laughs> So we'll kind of go over the the tricks, whatever there are, and time to go home. It's a, again, it's been a it's been a long journey, but it's hopefully you think it's worth it. It's a beautiful car. It is. It is. Well, not only having it built waiting a long time. When I was 14 years old, I bought some little plastic kits <laughs> with a 34 Ford with mm -hmm. a rumble seat. So all my life I've wanted it. There it is. It's a. And, and it's it's. You know what? It. You could take it to a show and it'd be a show car. Look at that. It's not a show car. It's like, oh, that's my daily driver. I mean, doesn't it look like that's what it is? It's like, well, yeah, of course I drive that. Yeah. It's yeah, like you just you just went to the Ford dealer and bought it brand new back in 33 or 34. Only modern technology. It's independent from suspension. Isn't it a shame you can't do that? Go back in time with it this color. Black was the only thing you could get. Well, this car, original car, would not, this is not, it appears to be, but this car will go and handle pretty quick. But we're good, Brad. It's right. been fun. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Now it's time to get some tags on it and get the titling ready and head it, head it south to Louisiana.